Malekim Rishon, 1 Kings 9. And it came to pass, when Shalomah had finished the building of the house of Yahor, and the king's house, and all Shalomah's desire which he was pleased to do, that Yahuwah appeared to El Shalomah the second time, as he had appeared unto him at Givon. And Yahuwah said unto him, I have heard your prayer and your supplication that you have made before me. I have hallowed this house which you have built to put my name there forever, and my eyes and my heart shall be there perpetually. And if you will walk before me as David your father walked, in integrity of heart and in uprightness to do according to all that I have commanded you and will guard my statutes and my judgments. Then I will establish the throne of your kingdom upon Yasharel forever, as I promised to David your father, saying, There shall not fail you a man upon the throne of Yasharel. But if ye shall at all turn from following me, ye or your children, and will not guard my commandments and my statutes, which I have set before you, but go and serve other Elohim and worship them. Then will I cut off Yasharel out of the land which I have given them, and this house which I have hallowed for my name will I cast out of my sight, and Yasharel shall be a proverb and a byword among all people. And at this house which is high, Everyone that passes by it shall be astonished, and shall hiss, and they shall say, Why has Yahuwah done thus unto this land, and to this house? And they shall answer, Because they forsook Yahuwah Elohehim, who brought forth their fathers out of the land of Mitzrayim, and have taken hold upon other Elohim, and have worshipped them, and served them. Therefore has Yahuwah brought upon them all this evil. And it came to pass at the end of twenty years, when Shalomah had built the two houses, the house of Yahuwah and the king's house. Now Kiram, the king of Tesor, had furnished Shalomah with cedar trees and fir trees and with gold, according to all his desire, that then King Shalomah gave Kiram twenty cities in the land of Galil. And Kiram came out from Tesor to see the cities which Shalomah had given him, and they pleased him not. And he said, What cities are these which you have given me, my brother? And he called them the land of Kavul unto this day. And Kiram sent to the king six score talents of gold. And this is the reason of the levy which King Shalomah raised for to build the house of Yahuwah, and his own house, and Milo, and the wall of Yerushalayim, and Katsor, and Megiddo, and Gezer. For Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim, had gone up, and taken Gezer, and burnt it with fire, and slain the Canaanim that dwelt in the city, and given it for a present unto his daughter, Shalomah's woman. And Shalomah built Gezer, and baked Koran, the nether, and Baalah, and Tadmor in the wilderness, in the land, and all the cities of store that Shalomah had, and cities for his chariots, and cities for his horsemen, and that which Shalomah desired to build in Yerushalayim, and in Lebanon, and in all the land of his dominion. And all the people that were left of the Emori, Katim, Perizim, Kavim, and Yavusim, which were not of the children of Yasharel, their children that were left after them in the land, whom the children of Yasharel also were not able utterly to destroy, upon those did Shalomah levy a tribute of bond service unto this day. But of the children of Yasharel did Shalomah make no bondmen, but they were men of war, and his servants, and his princes, and his captains, and rulers of his chariots, and his horsemen. These were the chief of the officers that were over Shalomah's work, 
550, which bore rule over the people that wrought in the work. But Pharaoh's daughter came up out of the city of David unto her house which Shalomah had built for her. Then did he build Milo. And three times in a year did Shalomah offer burnt offerings and peace offerings upon the altar which he built unto Yahuwah. And he burnt incense upon the altar that was before Yahuwah. So he finished the house. And King Shalomah made a navy of ships in Etzan Giva, which is beside Elak, on the shore of the Red Sea, in the land of Edom. And Kiram sent in the navy his servants, shipmen that had knowledge of the sea, with the servants of Shalomah. And they came to Ophir, and fetched from thence gold, four hundred and twenty talents, and brought it to King Shalomah. 